Guys, how about the Proline Black Mambas? 2.6 on the Capra. They are uh, a little large and almost six inches tall. <laughs> I'm gonna show this thing to you on the table and get it right outside. Take a look. These things are just too much. Wow, these are the normal tires I run on that. Look at that. Now this does have a Nax 2300 KV system in it. And it has a Reese triple four steering servo. 99 micro dig. And well, time to power this thing up and get it outside. Now if there's one thing these tires are not gonna do, they're not gonna flex. But maybe they're just so Darn, gnarly, look at that. Absolutely no flex. <laughs> Ground clearance won't be an issue. Now, the Capra still has overdrive gears in the front, so it's going to pull a little bit on that. Wow, this is, uh... <laughs> oh wow. Almost like the ax didn't want to even stop it. I guess because the tires are, you know, about six inches versus the ones that normally has on it. I mean, I don't know if I can actually fit these on any of my, ooh, actually getting into the chassis on the turn right there. At least the axe system is quiet. Yeah, as far as fitting these on one of my normal crawlers, I just don't see that happening. And on the bomber, uh, the hexes have that little piece that sticks out that goes into the wheels. And these wheels don't really like that very much. I guess about the only way to make these crawl would be maybe to just take the foams all the way out. <laughs> at that point, they may actually would crawl. Oh, look at that. Now, I want to try to be a little bit careful so I don't break the portal gear. Because there's a lot of tire here. Ooh. <laughs> wow, with the offset of these things, you can see all that brass and stuff just hanging out there. Wow, that is a heck of a leany spot. Oh, I saved it and then almost destroyed it. <laughs> wow, those big tires really help it out on that, don't it? Hopper wasn't an issue. Hopper can be a major issue with this thing. And I got the little tires on it. Wow. Gotta watch it. Oh, gotta get it back in the camera too. <laughs> nice. See what we got here now. Oh wow, it just bellied right over the point. And that point can tear things up. You're not crawling bad at all, really. And I don't know, like I mentioned, maybe the foams take the foams out. Maybe that would be a, a tuning if you wanted to crawl with these, but. I would dare say if you're on a trail and you've got a sandy trail, you know, dirt, this might be a really good choice of tire. Nah, not really a rock tire, I don't believe. Even though it is actually working really good. Oh, wow. It <laughs> just bellied over that, too. <laughs> oh, look at the stick. 
Oh boy. You know what Mr. Giggle says, right? <laughs> you gotta try the nasty. If this thing actually completes it, I'll be impressed, man. They're not doing bad. This isn't exactly their home, but it's doing good. See so if I can get around over here, get a little bit better front shot. All right, now I'm hung up on the axle housing. Oh, I forgot, I got digging this. Now, if it gets across the crack of doom, that'll be awesome. I mean, as far as bumpers hitting and all that, that shouldn't be an issue. The big old lugs seem to get it pretty good, but I'll have to see how, what these do to the center of gravity for the vehicle itself. Maybe too high. But we're about to find out. If I can get that back in and come up and out. Oh, look at that! Got it. That was awesome. It walked it. I just don't really have wrist power here, do I? It got a quarter inch of air. Ooh, almost an inch. It was amazing. <laughs> Let's go do some more dirt stuff. <laughs> I don't know if I got enough, but we're going to find out. Ah, oh, wow. I don't quite have enough wheel speed. That was a close one. Wow, it's right there. Oh! Almost. Oh, wow. Well, um, a little bit off to the side. I think I can get it. Oh. Oh. It did it. That was awesome. We'll get one more set of rocks and then we're gonna go try the wood and wrap this thing up. I think that just the lugs are just so awesome that it's just climbing and just working well. I mean, better than I thought. Now here it just really likes to hold water. So these tires may see their first water here. Let me see one of them is in it. Now these are all sealed up, so oh, it's good there. Only one tire got wet. <laughs> See what we can do here with that wet tire. <laughs> that was awesome. You could totally hear these things just grabbing. Try to bake this corner right here. And 
This is not set up for something so wide. And the good news is, I believe the axles will just simply clear everything, even by not staying on top of it, top of it all. I do gotta say the axle clearance is amazing. And the tires are doing really good. Did I just get some tire compression? Ooh. Ooh, I'm kind of in a pickle here. Ooh -hoo -hoo -hoo. I am off the course and it would fall if I would have kept that up. So I don't want to break an axle housing because we all know how these things love to break housings. At least mine does. I might be up to nine or 10 housings that I've broken now. Ooh. <laughs> Man, you know what guys? We get these on some good soft foams. These might be like the ultimate trail tire that can just do anything that's on the trail. Hills, you name it. Mud? Of course mud, right? You know, lugs are so big they're just grabbing everything. Even without tire compression. Look at that. That was all luck. It just caught that thing and just took it right over. All right, let me get into a better position. See what we can do with this. Now, this might be too wide. I mean, obviously, I'm not bringing the rift up here on this. Just it's so far away from this particular part of the game. Wow. No kidding, guys. This is impressive. I'm not a big fan of giant tires on a cap road, but these things are working. Ooh. <laughs> wow. The X2300 is doing great with it. Wow, that worked out way better than expected. Well guys, they didn't flex a whole lot, but they crawled pretty darn good. I think with a little bit heavier vehicle, they actually would be better. I also feel if you're gonna crawl with them, you'll want like maybe the uh, Dragon Wheel. I'm pretty sure these will go on that. It'll give you a little more tread stability for side hilling and stuff like that. Not that you lose tread block. I mean, look at them things. Now, going up the wood. Wow, you can just hear these things just all the way up the wood. That was impressive. Um, overall, I got to say they did crawl good. Um, need a little bit more weight, you know. There it is again. But anyway, uh, yeah, this thing right here, the tires are awesome, guys. I like these things. In that description, I'll put a link. I'll try to find the tires right now. It's a pre-order at horizon.com if you want to get these. And I'll also blink up everything that's on the Capra. At least everything that I can. I don't think the 2300 KV Axe is still available. But anyway, it is what it is. So guys, check that description. Use those links. They are A-Main, eBay, Amazon, and Horizon. They are affiliate links. They help out the channel quite a bit when you guys use them. Thank you so much for everybody that is using them. It means a lot to me. So guys, thank you all for watching.
Guys, if you like what you see, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and ring that bell. So, in the description, there's a link to become a channel member. If you want to become a channel member, it's a very simple $2, $5, $10, or if you really got some money, $25 a month. It's a simple way to support the channel. So, get that, and I am doing monthly giveaways for members only, so you might want to consider it. So, guys, use those links. Make sure you're subscribed. Thank you all for watching.